Hello everyone. This is going to be a quick motion builder relation constraint tip. It came up as a question whether or not you can connect inputs and outputs easily uh, or automatically in the relation constraint. And the answer is yes and no. Scripting is going to be the fastest. But let's say, for example, we want to um, drag some markers out as a rig to control the arm of this character. So I'm going to switch over and frame up on the arm of the character. I'm going to double click on the marker to go into add mode. And then I'm going to just click the clavicle, upper arm, lower arm, and hand. I'll hold uh, enter. And now if you look over here, you can see that I've got them all snapped in the, the same location. They're not oriented, but they're at least in the right spot. So if we go into the relation constraint, and I grab my markers, and I drop them as senders, and then I go grab the clavicle, upper arm, lower arm, and hand, and drag them in as receivers. Now we want a fast way to connect these. And it looks like I missed one. So that, oh. When you click on a input, it kind of stays sticky until you connect it. So you could by hand individually go back and forth and do this and it is very slow. So the tip is to do this. I'm going to click on each one of these in order. And now I have all of them as inputs and now I'm going to click in order of connection down the list and I have them all connected. So it's not as fast as scripting and it's not as fast as automation but it saves you from clicking back and forth over and over again when you can just click them in order and click them in order. So I hope that helps speed things up for you and if you uh, want a really spooky looking rig that's the way to do it. That's it for this tip. Talk to you soon.